Last video explained rule number one, which is use one thumb at a time. This is crucial to ensuring you are able to fly the drone safely. Now it's time to take the drone to the sky. So we are going over fly vectors rule number two and three for beginner pilots. Following these two other rules will drastically reduce the chance of wrecking your drone. Rule number two in the fly vectors guide for beginner pilots is to ensure there's at least five feet of clearance around the drone before takeoff. This isn't just about the space on the ground, it's from the takeoff point to the sky, up to where you plan to fly the drone. Why, you may ask? It's simple. Safety first. This clearance acts as your buffer zone, a safety net ensuring that your takeoff and landing is as smooth as a bird's. Think of it as your runway, clear and ready for your ascent and descent. Moving to rule number three, as soon as you're airborne, there's an immediate priority. Ascend above everything in your flight zone. It's not just about gaining altitude. It's about claiming your space in the skies, ensuring nothing stands in your path. These two rules are your guardian in the clouds, ensuring that from the moment you lift off, you're soaring higher, not just in altitude, but in confidence. Remember, the sky's not the limit, it's your playground. For pilot lessons or information regarding our full curriculum, please be sure to go to flyvector.com.